Okay, guys, uh, today I have a special guest on my channel. It's one of the ladies who is uh, really successful on Amazon. So my goal was to bring someone, one uh, beautiful lady, a nice and successful and smart lady who can share experience with uh, the ladies from Balkan and all around the world who want to start sell on Amazon. So RP, welcome to my channel. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you can you can introduce yourself and uh, you can tell us uh, how did you start with Amazon and why Amazon, why you chose Amazon? What did you do before Amazon? Um, um, well, I started Amazon about um, two years ago. I started learning about it. And um, the first product that I, I launched was in 2018. Um, um, why I started Amazon? I started Amazon because I always knew I wanted to start my own business and that seemed to be the best opportunity, you know, at the time. And I think I was just introduced to it by a YouTube video that I watched randomly, it just resonated with me. And at the time I was um, an artist working from home. Um, but you're still that, artist. I'm you're still still artist. <laughs> I, I don't have much time anymore to paint much, but I try to find some time. So, um, yeah, I started learning about it and watched some YouTube videos and uh, just went from there and just decided yeah. that's what I want to do. And, but yeah. after that, you decided to take some courses or not? Did I did, you, uh, yes. Yes, I did. I took the first course that the video was talking about. Um, I just, I didn't even do much research, like what courses are out there. I just jumped yeah. in and took the course and it helped me get started for sure. Um, I went, I had a rough start. So my first two products were not a success, <laughs> but you know, I never gave up. So um, you, you mean a, a total failure of product or you mean that your return was slow? So the very first product, I never went forward with it, but it was, uh, it was because of personal issues I was going through. And the second product was in um, 2000. Uh, it was in 2018, August, I launched that product. It was a toy and it had a patent issue. I, I had a small tool in the toy and I did a patent research. I thought I was clear, but um, I was a few months uh, into selling it and it was going pretty well, you know. And then I was hit the infringement patent issue and I never recovered from it. So I had to pull out all the inventory and I ended up selling it on eBay and uh, getting pretty much my money back. But yeah, that was that. And then um, in 2019, January, I started researching for another product and um, I. That product I manufactured from home. So it was a pretty complex product, had 50 parts. I got all my supplies from US. I had it shipped to my home. I manufactured it here in my uh, basement. And uh, I did that product for a few months. And then, then I went to uh, source from China. I actually changed manufacturing to China because it was way too much time consuming, you know? Of course. Uh, yeah. I had two friends who helped me with it. You know, it was fun times. But then um, I launched my second product and those two products I still have, you know, and they are making good profit every month. Um, yeah, and it just went from there. I just, uh, currently I have four products. I'm working on two more products that I'll launch in July. Um, and I have, I plan to launch five more products this year. So that's the so That's your goal. For September, from for yeah. uh, for Q uh, four. By the end of the year, I want to have five more products. Yeah, yeah. yeah but your products are uh, uh, seasonal, or uh... just one of them is the seasonal. Uh, the first product that I started manufacturing from home and then changed to to China, it I changed it uh, to be a seasonal product because it's it just sells way better in Q four, and it's quite expensive the product. So I rather just invest that money and sell through, you know, not sit on large amount of inventory in the product is quite heavy. Uh, so I don't want to be, you know, have the money locked up in that inventory. There is always a place in uh, products who are, uh, which are uh, expensive because not too many people have a budget to start with expensive products. And even if they are heavy, that can be your advantage uh, mm -hmm. to succeed. 
Now, a lot of sellers want to do small products who are cheap, so they have more money to invest in business yeah, like that with three to five car. But I, I also tell my students because people from this part of the world, like Balkan, you know, um, the situation and financial financial situation, they cannot invest uh, so easy five thousand dollars or five thousand euros. Yeah. So they need to be really care to take care to understand. Mm -hmm each segment of Amazon before even decide to start selling on Amazon. Mm -hmm. So we, I also do my best to explain them every part of, of, of business because I have experience long before in other business with sourcing from China and dealing with, 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 uh, with certificates also. And, you know, you, you, you cannot just say, you know, I want to start selling on Amazon, but you know, I will start from YouTube, you know, because, uh, there is so many things you need to understand to learn before yeah. you even decide to sell on Amazon. You even if my advice is always take at least one year to mm -hmm. to, to to do a deep research, you know, because learning, especially PPC, it's not easy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, watching just tutorial from software companies, uh, it's not hundred percent sometimes correct what they are doing, and from my experience and things I see. And you know the trainings we spoke about. We, I have uh, the private trainings that I have for, for myself. Uh, we see tons of mistakes of the software companies who doesn't want to admit the mistake they make. And that mm -hmm. mistake of can cost you money. Mm -hmm. uh, uh. So it's really, 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 you know, you need, you need to... Uh, you need to yeah to take a time to to learn everything yes. and to find yourself in this business you know you cannot uh, it's not it's, it's not just because of money you know uh, yes. you need you to have yeah. have patient for it yes yeah absolutely. yeah yeah see, everyone have different reasons why they start amazon someone want yeah. a better life you know that's most of them someone is uh, it's a challenge for someone for me it's more a challenge I mean, mm -hmm. I make my success much, much before Amazon. So for mm -hmm. me, everything else is a challenge and I like it. You know, I like to, to learn, but someone is seeing that as an opportunity for a better life, you know, yes. but, you know, so if you I don't take it, wrong with it, but it's something, if you are patient about it and you love it, you know, it's just no brainer, you know, you're going to crush it. It's, it's, it becomes easier. You know, becomes easier, but because it's not. E but it's not easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not easy. No, it's not. And there they have been numerous times where I have, I have been so close to giving up. But that's the thing. You have you gotta have your why. Yeah, strong of why. Your that's why is most important. Yeah. I have had hit with so many you know uh, problems that came out of the blue. It just uh, you know you think everything is going right. You know everything is good, and all of a sudden it's highs and lows. You know. Um, but you just gotta keep going. <laughs> how you how you how you motivate yourself because you work alone. You, know, you don't you don't have a partner to invest with you. Some people have a partner. I also have partners, but most uh -huh. people, you know, uh, you need you need to have something to motivate you to to to, to work. Family. Honestly, it's uh, just uh, being able to provide for my family and give them the best life they deserve. That's my yeah. number one motivator. Yeah. Yeah, and what what uh, what you think that is most difficult part of Amazon for you? For me, what is uh, most stressful part of Amazon? <laughs> it's the a little bit of the unknown. You know, when you uh, a problem will come up that you can't even think of because when the problems arise, um, you, you look and say, "I didn't even think about this," or "I never knew this could be an issue." You know, it's like that uh, feeling that something could come up that. Uh, would really um, affect my business negatively that I'm not getting ready for, that I don't know what it is yet. That's the challenging part. Um, for me, you know, I the, the best part of it is um, I love marketing and I love designing, you know, uh, so anything art artistic. And I think there is a lot of um, I think artistic, you know, things that you can put into it, like your design, designing your branding is yeah. really important on Amazon. So that's the part I enjoy the best. Like when it's product testing, uh, product development, getting samples, that's my favorite part of it. Uh, but then I enjoy PPC. I kind of feel like it's, it's a, um, a kind of art too, for me. Like I really enjoy doing PPC. It's, um, yeah, I, I like most of it. 
uh, there's uh, like customer support is one thing that I'll think about outsourcing when yeah, I start hiring. Like that would be the first thing, and then actually get a, a manager for social media because that's quite time consuming. Of course, yeah, yeah. You can always outsource a virtual assistant to, especially for from Philippines. They uh, they speak fluent English better than me, <laughs> so they can do a, a great support for your customers. Yes, yes. You know? And also Armenia, you know, uh, that's one of the reasons I want to go to Armenia soon too, because I want to start getting a team together. You know, that can help me because it's getting a bit overwhelming. You know, especially my plans of adding more products this year. So yeah. I need help. <laughs> yeah, of course. You you can also educate them through the through through your course. You know, you know because you have experience and you have results. And that was also my goal with my people from Balkan is because it was not they they didn't know so much about Amazon. And uh, when I start my course, was my goal besides that I invest a lot of my money is to train people and to see who have a talent to work on this in this business. So. Uh, in the future, I can take them to work for me before if they don't have a budget to invest or to expand Amazon business, you know, because in in, in Balkan, you cannot ask so easy uh, money from, from bank to invest in your e-commerce because they don't understand so much about e about e-commerce, they don't see opportunity. That is really a, a big, big, big uh, mistake of them, you know, so... My goal is uh, in uh, in the next couple of months, maybe in end of the year, to to invest even as an investor to to my students, you know, who needs a, a bigger capital to uh, to expand the business. Yeah, that's why that's why you can also do this in in Armenia, mm-hmm. because there will be for sure people who wants to learn this and uh, yeah, yeah, they can work for you. But how how you yeah uh, some of, yeah I know that some of uh, Amazon sellers my friends they outsource people from China mm-hmm. and they make a company there they hire them they teach them they they go there to train them you know mm-hmm. with, uh, to do everything and even support and even PPC or uh, sourcing and everything you can source there so, like uh, photographers and everything do you have anyone who is like doing your uh, Photos. We doing your photos. Do you do you do you do yeah, photos in uh, USA? So I have a, a local photographer that's really great, and um, I like working with local photographer because I can be in the studio with him and I can you know make clear my vision about the product and how, how I want the listing to be because um, it's it, you know it's one of the most important things your listing has to you know speak to the customer and me being an artist and I sell in arts and crafts category so I do quite a bit of research to just make sure my listing is going to speak to that person who wants to purchase that product exactly. and then make my listing kind of like catalog very appealing like when they go through the pages it's kind of looks like a beautiful catalog that they are going through you know you are you are creative <laughs> Yes, it's important to be in this business. Yes, you have yeah. to be different yeah. and creative. Yes. Um, so I work with a local photographer, but I have worked with, a, you know, photographers online, you know, th- those uh, companies that they do solely um, provide photos for Amazon, and they do a great job too. Uh, f- recently, I started working with a sourcing agent. Before that, I sourced my product. I found the suppliers, and I highly recommend doing it with a Good sourcing agent because it's been really like he has been really helpful and he has helped me source my last two products that I'm working on. Um, and yeah, it's been a great experience. Um, PPC, I do it by myself, but that's another thing that I'll outsource. You if know, you if you don't learn PPC by yourself, you know, it's like you don't sell on Amazon <laughs> because yeah, that can cost. Last summer, I took all summer, I dived in and learned PPC. You know, it was just, I, I um, uh, you know, it's, it's so important. Like, you yeah, have to. It's like a heart of the business. If you, if you need to outsource your PPC, you will lose a lot of money. Yes. You, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. Different systems and I played with it. And, you know, I found something that works really well for me. So. And that's why I see that some some of uh, of my friends who are really bad in PPC, uh, they they they, uh, it, they find it difficult to learn, you know, because some people doesn't like to 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 play with numbers. Mm-hmm. When they see a, a number, they <laughs> they get blackout, you know. But mm-hmm. they out they 
for that's why they have a partners who are good in this or some of partners are good in, good in sourcing and they deal with this documentation and, and, and manufacturing and inspections so they can focus, the other people can focus on, on PPC. Yeah, absolutely. Like what is, whatever is not your strengths, just outsource and focus on your strengths. That's going to help you, you scale much faster. Yeah. That's my, my plan to do. And also, uh, I'm, uh, I think that people need uh, to be prepared you know, when you are good in Amazon, starting to, to work good, you need to be prepared that your business business can scale so fast. You know, and uh, you need to 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 have your plan in advance what you want to do with Amazon. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you need to know your limit because I know, I know some sellers who make like a ten twenty thousand a month uh, in profit, and they say for me that okay, I don't want to go much further than that because I can control this business by myself alone. You know, mm -hmm. but if you if your business is expanding and like some of our friends, you know, who I don't want to mention too many names, mm -hmm. uh, you need to have a uh, fifty people or hundred people in team to manage this kind of business. You know, and then is becomes a beast. You know, to so you need to know what you need to have a plan. What you want to do? Do you have any plan of this you know, like in the future? What you want to do? Yeah, with absolutely. Uh, I I don't have a limit, honestly. Like I, it's. Um, Again, I'll source five more products at least this year. I'll launch five more, but next year I really want to take it to another level. That's why, like, my plan is to start getting the team together and a good, you know, structure for the business. Of like, that's the next step, so that everything is structured and I have help. Then I'll yeah. be able to. So in this in in this time, how many products you have, and how many how many schools uh, you have? You know, how many different. Um, so I have I have I have over thirty SKUs because one of my products has twenty twenty seven. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, but they are you know they are supporting the main product and it was requested by the customers to have all these different products and they, they are making profit. So, uh, but mainly you know for SKUs um, right now in the one seasonal uh, product mm -hmm. that we we'll bring in. And um, I'm working two more on two more products. So it will be six, seven. That's great. That's great. And how, what was your last month? How much you'd make last month in sales? Uh, in profit in sales. Mm -hmm. I made 60,000 in sales. Uh, so, and I have only one product. So it's, uh, right it's in profit was how much was that? Uh, I, my profit is about 23%. That's good. That's good. Uh, yeah. And I have just one product. Right and it's now. one product, yeah. yeah. So I, uh, I mean, last month. So I'm trying to get my product in stock. It's a little bit challenging. I'm getting some delays, you know, with the shipments. Uh, but this month, I should be able to get two, two of my products back in stock. Yeah. yeah. When you add these five more products in uh, different uh, colors and sizes, you know, you should start already to teach people with PPC. Because you will get a lot of schools and a lot of products in in the future, you know. You, it's it's not easy to manage so many. No, so many. It's not. Even the PPC right now is getting challenging. So I, instead of you know, I used to be able to um, optimize it like two three times a week, but it's getting more challenging. So I I look at PPC once a week, but it's pretty much established right now. My PPC and it's pretty solid. So. Every week I look through and make adjustments right now, and that's good enough. Yeah, you need to organize even your aid groups and, and to, to give them a, a, a names you can easily control and you can recognize which campaign is for <laughs> because yeah. you know, yeah, because it's a, yeah. <laughs> some people make it so you know that's uh, not logical names or something they they don't they cannot find where they are you know and with it, it's with all data you know it's 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 hard to manage you know but it, it one when you once when you find your like yeah your your uh, discipline in this business you can you can manage you can manage till some limit you know but then after you need a help Yes, yeah. and you need a good system like in place. That's the most important thing when you come to a certain point. Like you have to have that to move forward and be able yeah. to. Scale. Did you, did you ever uh, outsource some um, PPC companies to to work on your uh, PPC? Never. I have never. I have talked to some and I have discussed uh, for the near future because that's something that I'll, I'll be looking into uh, doing. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, 
I have not yet. No, I have not worked with. Yeah, because if you if you outsource them, they don't tell you how they're doing. You know, they just improve some things or they don't improve. Uh, the problem is that what I see a bunch of conferences, there is tons of people who pay to be uh, speakers and who have a, a, a companies, they claim that they are PPC agencies, but they are uh, they have experience with Google before with uh, CEO advertising. Mm -hmm which is totally different than Amazon PPC. Uh, yes. Amazon PPC have different criteria than anyone, everything yes. else. Yeah, uh, so you really have to be careful about choosing the right person, right company, because it, it is such an important part of the business. And for me, especially, I uh, like to have control of everything. So the thought of someone else is going to manage uh, such an important part of my business that I really have to trust them and, you know, uh, but also follow and know how is everything structured and done because I, I don't think I'll just fully be able to say, hand, hand it over and tell them just to do it. You know, I'd have to have some idea what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, yeah, when I see some conference and when I listen to them, you know, after some trainings, what we take, uh, so many things doesn't, you see, you see, you recognize uh, the people who are fake. You know, who are uh, just trying to sell uh, services and pretending that they are great in Amazon. Uh, mm -hmm. It's also dangerous because so many people uh, are showing some kind of these big results, but they are uh, uh, showing results from the companies they are working on PPC mm -hmm. of them, mm -hmm. you know, and they sh uh, show themselves as, as someone who is really experienced with PPC. You know, but maybe uh, you don't know does this brand sell by itself because it's a, a well known brand on Amazon. So you yeah. know, so maybe your uh, maybe the the influence of this PPC agency is just a little, you know. But they are uh, they are trying to catch people on uh, services and they charge a lot, you know. So mm -hmm. my advice is always better to learn yourself. I mean, better to learn PPC and to have that knowledge for yourself, you know. And to grow from that point, and you have a uh, control of 100% yeah, of your absolutely. business. Absolutely, and then you'll be yeah. able to, then to write, uh, choose the right um, company because you'll ask the right questions and know if of they course. are, and they can do. Of mm -hmm. course, because like like I like I uh, told you, the moment when you need to grow your business, you need to uh, give a training to your uh, employees for Amazon business, mm -hmm. but. You cannot speak with them one by one all the time. You need to record those videos and to give them a, some kind of course so they can learn before they even jump on to your listing to, <laughs> to edit your, uh, your data. Because some of my friends complain that uh, some of, I, I don't want to, to, to say that only because it's Chinese, it doesn't have nothing with this, but the, 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 that uh, employee was from China and uh, cost him a lot of money when uh, she was doing uh, a PPC corrections in, <laughs> in, uh, in the reports. So it's really important to understand for yourself 100% and to, to know how to share your, uh, to teach people, you know? Yes, uh, yes. To, to, to make them easier to understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes, and at, at first it might seem like you are, you know, it's taking more of your time, you know, when you start teaching people, but then later on, you need to think that it's going to free so much of my time. And yeah. yeah, you know, it's challenging. It's like you have all these things to manage and you are at the same time training people. It gets overwhelming, I think. Yeah, yeah. Okay. We already did almost 40 minutes of, of, of interview. I was thinking it will be like 10 minutes, 50 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, it, it's, it's hard, you know. So for the end, uh, uh, what, would, what kind of advice you have for the ladies who wants to... I will give advice for the men all the time. <laughs> but what you, as a, someone who have experience as a lady and successful on Amazon, seller on Amazon, what would you advise ladies where they need to start, how they need to start and give them some... Uh, yeah. Um, I know we are a minority, you know, it's uh, dominated by male sellers, right? So female sellers are in this big and it can sometimes seem like this is not our area, the, you know, and, uh, but it's totally wrong and you can do it, you know, just, um, get started, you know, um, learn every day, um, make promise to yourself, make goals. Uh, that's how I got started. I decided 
it started with a decision that I was going to do it. No matter what, I was going to make progress every single day, um, no matter how big or small, but I was going to move forward. And that's what I did. Uh, and if you do that and, you know, have a vision uh, where you want to be and work towards that, you're going to get there and never of give course. up. Of course. Yeah. And, um, uh, you know, there are so many helpful people you can reach out to when you need help, you know, of including course. me. Um, of course. I love to help people when they reach out um, with a question. So there is a big community out there uh, ready to help all the time. And you mm. just need to get started. You need to be a part of some communities with, uh, yeah, you know, that's with very important. Who, can, who can help you on the moment yeah. when you are slowly, when you don't uh, know where, where you need to help to find solution, you know. And you yeah, need to have someone who is more experienced than you, you know, to, to, to help you. Absolutely. And it can motivate to, uh, you too. Um, I, have a, I have a group of friends that we have a call every Wednesday every week and we talk about our goals for the week you know our challenges for the week and we help each other push each other uh, so it's very important you know in this business to yeah of course yeah, i see even in in my uh, private group of my students when they ask questions it motivates me to to it gives it, it gives me focus still on amazon you know it's like pushing me uh, because even even i learn from them you know, yes. because some uh, there is some situation that that uh, even I didn't have experience, maybe you know. But I need to find solution also for you, you know, and also for myself because I need these informations, you know. So sharing and caring about each other, it's really it's it, it's the way how to succeed on, on Amazon. Yes, not to be afraid to ask, not to be afraid to reach out. That's uh, that's something I had to work on uh, myself because uh, asking for help was not easy for me. But having that group, you know, being able to ask for help when you, you need it. You can always ask me, you know that. I know that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a big time difference, you know? <laughs> yes, I know that. Yeah. Uh, Arpi, thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank this, you for having me. Uh, for this, you have a free PPC training from me. <laughs> <laughs> always. <laughs> okay. Uh, we stay in touch on Facebook, on social media, yeah. And uh, mm -hmm. maybe, who knows, in the future, I will call you again as yeah. a guest. Uh, yeah. Thank you very much. I'll start my channel and uh, interview you. On yeah. My yeah, of course, always, <laughs> always. Yeah, but I told you that you need to start your, your, your channel and you need to share I'm your experience. About it. Yes. Yeah, because people from your country, they need this. And they, this mm -hmm. will give them opportunity to think that there is always a solution for some better life. They, they just need to change the focus what they have now. Mm, yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>